This is Denon AVR-S700W Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 7.2 channels, 6 HDMI, 1 output Port mobile apps is a 4K and uh, 60 frame And this is the back of the receiver HDMI here and the output monitor is over there Yeah. Look at a good uh, receiver. This is the remote. So a customer uh, told me if I uh, take electronics for recycling, and uh, he drop off this one. No information about it. Uh, let's uh, test it and see what's going on. So there is a standby light. I hear the click. So I'm gonna get it closer so you can hear the click. Let me unplug it and plug it back again. So you hear that click. So push the power button, is responding to the power button, you can see it is flashing green. I hear the second uh, click for the output speakers. It stay green. I don't see anything on the display here. So let's click to the dimmer, because maybe the screen is dim. Still nothing. Oh yeah, the remote it works. I push the power button and it's go off. Okay. But doesn't want to turn on with the remote. So it did turn off, but didn't want to turn on. Will be the batteries is not good, maybe. Let's plug our speaker and see what it's uh, doing. Let's put anything in the antenna to get. Uh, so I just put this one in the FM antenna so we can test uh, the tuner to see if we have any sound. We got the sound. So we have sound. So, which means the amplifier works, output uh, transistors works good, no problem. There is no short in them. Same as it work. The only problem. It's no display. Yeah, most of the receivers, DVDs, VHS, they use fluorescent screen, the vacuum display, to show the data on the screen.
so we still we don't have like a small LCD or uh, screen in them they don't put that technology yet yeah these uh, screens they have a lot of problems uh, if they get uh, any crack or the glue around the the glass because it should be like a vacuum inside it if there any air go inside it it's gonna stop working because it should be like a vacuum to allow the electrons is travel between the cathode and the anode so let's take it apart so this is the receiver inside there is two flex cables coming from the board to the front control uh, board control buttons and uh, the display yeah, it could be even the the IC that's sending the signal to the display could be as bad as well not just the display but when we have no picture or no display or no power we're always going to go and check the voltage not going to go and look for the data there's two screws here the flex cables to see if we can get any display sometimes it's just a bad connection and the flex cables no I still have no display let me disconnect I'm gonna unplug it I'm going to disconnect all the cables that's no need. This is the, the Bluetooth cable. I don't need it at the moment. This cable here is for the, the headphone. Okay, this cable is came from the transformer. You did see it, it was like, like this a little bit. No plug the right. Could be that's the, the problem. Because this cable, I'm kind of sure this cable that's is, uh, feeding the voltage to the display screen. Because the fluorescent uh, display, it's work with the alternative uh, voltage. So it should be like alternative voltage to warm the, the cathode. The cathode is going to be like uh, the electron gun and we have the mesh is like a screen between the cathode and the digit marks the digit marks is going to be the anode so the mesh is going to control flowing the electrons between the cathode and uh, the digits or the samples that we have in the screen and the anode they put like uh, something like phosphoric material so when the electron drop on it it's gonna like uh, glow and that's what is give us the the light and the and the symbol so it's green but still there is no display so let's check the voltages so it's green, it means it's on. Okay, the voltage is between the and the two white cables we have shall be alternative. We have 35 volt. So that's kinda good. And here we have 5 volt. So two cables are five volt alternative. Two cables is about like 34 or 35 volt alternative. Take the board.
this is what I know about this uh, screen, just to share it with you and you know what I am looking about. In the fluorescent screen, there is a three layers, a couple of wires. This is the cathode. When the, the voltage is going them, it's going to get warm. Electrons, they start flowing out from them. In the second layer, we have a mesh. It's like a metal screen and it's connected to the anode. The bottom layer is the digit, like this. Each of them is connected to the anode as well, but it can be controlled like on or off. When the electron fly away from this tungsten wire, if there is no voltage here, the electron is, it just is flow everywhere. And you know the electron is, is flow from the cathode to the anode. So the anode is like, do like a magnet to the electron. So if the mesh turn on, it means this one is going to be anode. This one is going to be a positive charge. It's going to grab the electron that has a negative charge. The electron is flow from here to here. If this digit it's on as well, it means it's a positive charge. It's going to be as an anode. The electron that flow to here, it is going to go through the mesh and heat here. When the electron heat here is going to glow, this, this part is going to glow because it has the phosphor. So we need the voltage that go to the cathode. We need the voltage that go to the anode, and we need the digit that's turned on and off. So this is how the screen works. You see, this is the cathode, this is the pen, and here, let's go to here. And you can see that the wires, that's the tungsten wires that need to be on when the display is on because this is the source of the electrons. Then if you look closely here, you're gonna see the mesh or the, the grid. Let me just try to zoom on it. Okay, you can see the dot, that the mesh. You see this, all these dots? That's the grid. And we have the, the digit, the white one. That's the symbols that has like uh, covered by the phosphoric uh, material. Yeah, I don't see the IC here that's controlling which digit is gonna go on or which symbol. So here between this point, this is the the tungsten wires, we have 4.8 volt. Okay. The 4.8, it should be here. That's 5.4 is good. So as you see here, this is the 5 volt. We have a resistors here. So here is 5 volt. Then we have a wire to here, to here and we have to here 5.1 volt, so it's coming, that's the, the cathode. And to the other side of the cathode, it should be, should be somewhere here. Mm. Yep, that's the cathode from here to here. So from here to here, we have four volt. So the first uh, part, so the first part here, for that wires, we have the voltage. The cathode, we have the voltage and the cathode. And let's check the, the 35 volt. So the 35 volt, this one here, So must be this is a ground. It 
Yeah, this is a bi the big trace is the ground from here. So to here we have, that's the 35 volt. We have a fuse here. The other side of the fuse, we don't have it. Yeah, the other side of your fuse, we don't have the 35 volt to power on the, the anode. So let me check that fuse. It will be sample repair. Yeah, the fuse is open. You know what, let me sell, or before I do anything, let me check why the fuse is, is open. We have a diode here. So this is a diode, is it shirted? No, the diode is not shirted. So from the diode, we have a capacitor here. Do we have a shirt in the capacitor? No, the capacitor was charged. That's why it was given on the, we have a resistor here. So basically we have no shirt from here to the ground to here or to here. We have no shirt that's make the, the fuse go open. So let's just, uh, I'm gonna jam that fuse and see if it's gonna turn on, if it's work. We replace the fuse and we should be good. Now we make just a jumper to test. Now just very tiny wire as a jumper. Don't make the jumper till you be sure there is no shirt. Because if you make the jumper and there is a shirt, especially if you make a thick wire, that's the shirt can't burn it as a fuse, it's gonna burn other components and you face uh, more problems. So let's uh, just plug it. Yeah. Nothing burn it. I hear the click. I see some of the display. You see it? Oh, it's go off. Yeah, it's go off. But we did see a display, right? Okay, you see it over there? It's maybe because it's moving, that's why. But definitely we have a display. I'm uh, quick, but the display is there. Like when it's go off, I just say click the button and you can see the display back. I'm gonna remove that fuse.
So, this is all for this uh, video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again.